Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. And Ramadan Mubarak, if it's already Ramadan when you're watching today's video. Today is Thursday and Ramadan, I believe, starts on Monday. So I have a few days to get prepped before the month starts. I always like to prep a little bit of food. So we're gonna head to the grocery store, get some food prepped. I also really wanna prep some things for my daughter because she's three and a half this year. Elena is just so excited for the countdown calendar. But this year I wanna like start introducing a little bit more of like those concepts that she can grasp about our religion and just what the month is truly about so I have some fun stuff planned for her I just wanted to take you guys along today and we'll see what all I can get done I'm gonna try to get as much done today as I can but then I'm planning on doing more tomorrow so we'll see but we're about to go run some errands so let me do a little fit check today's look super simple and chic I've got on some black trousers from Abercrombie my New Balance sneakers and then this trench is Amazon and Vela hijab okay just need to grab a bag and let's go I actually have a really exciting announcement to share with you guys today which if you guys follow me on Instagram then you already know but I'm coming out with my third collection with Amazon the drop for Eid you guys I am so excited it's for spring summer 2024 but it's gonna be just in time for Eid I cannot wait for you guys to see the pieces for you guys to be able to wear them I can't wait to see you guys in them oh, I am so excited they turned out seriously so beautiful I've already sneak peeked them over on my Instagram so I'll pop some pictures on screen of what I've shared so far I'm gonna be doing an in-depth YouTube video giving you guys all the details but I just wanted to throw that out there because if you are looking for an Eid outfit then and stay tuned because I've got you guys <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here real quick and make a little list because I always have to have a grocery list before I go inside Omar has already given me his list which are snacks and nuts <laughs> I love that that's all he has to think about is from the grocery list of what he wants is snacks and nuts <laughs> let me do this list and then we'll be on our way also need to figure out what kind of soup to prep maybe I'll do lentil soup I'm trying to figure out because I always make like the same one and I kind of want to do something different today I decided I'm making lentil soup Maura Bian, which is is that how you say her name she is one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram for cooking so she just posted a lentil soup recipe and I'm gonna just recreate hers <laughs> Every time I go to the grocery store, I have to get myself a little snack. So I got myself another Olipop. I literally got this the last time, but it was so good. And then I have been loving these. These are addicting. They're like a bounty. So if you like bounty, then you will love this. It's just dark chocolate with coconut. Walked in the door and the first thing I had to do <laughs> is breastfeed this baby because yeah. he's such a mama's boy. Yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love it. Oh, but he does not want anybody else except me. So that's the hard part. My baby. Okay, I'm gonna go pray Dohor and then we're gonna go get to cooking. Are you gonna let me do that? Are you gonna let me do that? Okay, time for a little grocery haul. So I honestly didn't get too much stuff except for the stuff that I need to make the lentil soup. I needed a few extra things to make the overnight oats. To be honest, I just mainly stocked up on our snacks because if you guys can probably relate to this, late at night after iftar, you get the snack cravings. So I got us a whole bunch of chips and popcorn. This is, this is like my go-to snack. This is the kettle cooked, what is it? Sweet and salty kettle corn by Boom Chicka Pop. Trust me, this is the best. And then I just grabbed a whole ton of other chips and stuff because I know Omar loves this kind of stuff. Late July nacho cheese, Chipotle barbecue by Siete. This is actually a really good, like wholesome brand. I got his mixed nuts as requested. <laughs> These are some of my favorite chocolates. And then along with my little salty snack, I always have to have something sparkly. So I got my favorite sparkling water, which is Nixie. I got the lime one, and I also got the strawberry hibiscus one. Oh, another little snack that I like are these pita chips by Sprouts. Are so yummy. Stocked up on some more dates because I know we're gonna need these throughout the month, obviously. And then here are the lentils that I got to make the lentil soup. Lentil soup is super easy to make, so let's whip it up right now.
Okay, does this not look so beautiful? I'm so proud of myself. This is the easiest soup to make and it is so comforting. So now we're gonna do the taste test. I'm sure it's delicious because I literally just followed the Morbihan um, recipe step by step. Bismillah. That is so good. The good thing is I can freeze this. So that's another idea that I wanted to give you guys is that freezing your soup is actually a really good way. Even outside of Ramadan, sometimes I'll make a big soup and then we won't eat it all right away. Emily gave me the idea to do ice cube molds, like the big one. That way you can just chunk it in the pot and you can easily get it out and everything. You could also just store it in like a Ziploc baggie. I just thought the ice cube molds was an amazing idea because you're kind of reducing using the plastic. I'm so excited to have this prepped for Ramadan, but also for Jonah because I'll feed this to him for like lunch and dinner. Today, my whole family is over at my house because we are doing our annual Ramadan photo shoot. And we always do this before Ramadan so we can just get out of the way. It's been such a fun tradition. So let me show you guys where we're at right now. First of all, what is this? <laughs> I ordered uh, Jonah this little dish, dish dasher. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So basically we're all wearing Palestinian attire and he has a dish dash and a little kofia he's gonna wear and this came with it. <laughs> he's not gonna wear that for the photos, but you're ready to go to the masjid. MashaAllah, brother. <laughs> We have the tea party with the Palestinian princess. That's right. Listening to Arabic music. <gasps> Mama, you look so stunning. MashaAllah. I love it. So pretty. Okay, we're dressed. We're doing a few little TikToks. Hi. <laughs> Doesn't she look stunning? Oh, we've been saying this in every single clip that we've like filmed. But this is our first time wearing a Palestinian thong. Actually, no, it's not. Do you remember when we were we were so oh, little? Oh my god. We used to try to find that. I'm gonna try to put it. I'm gonna try to put it on screen. So when we were in Jordan, they have this little photo op area. Yeah, it's like they made it look like Bedouin and like old school and they had these stoves for you to dress up in and they would take your picture and it was like a little keepsake. But we still have it. Our whole family was wearing it. Yeah, and it was cute. so cute. We were like so little. Didn't they have like the little head? Yeah, yeah with, with, like the, the with the coins. With the coins. And I was so cute, so I'll put that on the screen. So cute. And that was like the last time. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how old we were. These are so comfortable. Like imagine wearing this to like a wedding. Oh, wow. So beautiful. Honestly. Now we have them to wear. I know. Literally. We were like, we've never had a henna to go to. We went yeah. to Mara. Mara had a henna. Okay, Mara, but we, we didn't, didn't have, have we didn't have Palestinian those. Yeah. No. We wore like just regular dresses. Yeah. Most yeah. people did. Now I want a henna to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get married. Yeah. We were talking about that. I'm like, we should another wedding. Me and too. it's more fun to go to a wedding that's not your own or it's someone in your own family sometimes because then you're actually able to enjoy it rather than hosting the whole time. And you're not stressed. I mean, obviously, it's more fun when it's in your family, but you're exhausted by the end. You can't really, really yeah. enjoy it because you're like in work mode, kind of. I just want to go and dance. I need and a friend food. to get <laughs> yeah. I always think, I'm like, I would love to be a guest at my own wedding. Like, just oh, yeah. To enjoy everything. Yes. I would too. I shared this in the little TikTok we found, but these are the bracelets that Omar's mom gave me when we got married. They actually were hers and she passed them down to me and they mean so much to me. And they fit me perfect too. God, what are we doing? I guess we, we are way, it's way, way. too much, too, too much movement. Yeah, we just need to back yeah, up. Yeah, we just need to back up and pose. Yeah. It's like cling 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 cling. It's like mm, a little robotic. Mm. So why do people follow us? Hey, can you go by Baba? Come here, Baba. Come here. I'm not gonna go by Baba. <laughs> do you want you want Barbie girl? Yeah, I want Barbie girl. Okay. One, two. One, two. Tiger. Smile. Okay. Okay. Thank <laughs> Everybody abandon you. Look at Auntie Amanda. Look at Mama. Look at Mama. Look at Today is the day that we're gonna try to make Ramadan really special for Elena. So I'm here in the playroom, which is a disaster right now. And 
like obviously that's how a playroom should be because that's how you know it's fun <laughs> but i need to clean it up organize it a little bit because sometimes it just gets so chaotic in here that it's not even fun anymore to play in so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna decorate it really cute for ramadan get the countdown calendar set up let me show you guys what i got here's the countdown calendar that i got last year from days of eid i'll link it down below i have to show you guys something so hilarious elena already started filling it she went and got my little coconut date roll things and she was just literally filling all of her little trays with it. so she knows what she wants i guess it's so funny because i i need to get those out actually i'm gonna get them out and i'm gonna show you guys what i am gonna put in here so obviously these things are not what ramadan is about but for a three and a half year old this just makes it so special for her so i'm really excited i got her some toddler bracelets necklaces with little animals on them she's gonna love those some little rings with animals on them a whole roll of stickers of different animals and a little pack of earrings i'm gonna break these up and put them into different drawers but she is going to die over these items you guys and we'll think of some good deeds of the day inside each one i'm thinking like i mean she's three and a half so this is you know asking her to do something is a lot so maybe like give baba a hug or tell her grandma she loves her like that kind of stuff anyways we will do all that i have the ramadan mubarak sign i'm gonna put in there as well and then there's this little led light that is so cute it's like a crescent and a mosque i thought that could go cute in the playroom as well let's start by getting this all straightened up Okay, wanted to show you guys the final result of everything. I think Elena is going to love this so much. Look how beautiful the little tent is. I'm dying, that is so cute. You could also put these on a stair railing, which is what I think they are meant for, but I just draped it over the tent and I think she's gonna love it. I also love the use of this Ramadan Mubarak sign like in the corner of a room right there. And then all of her little drawers are filled now with stickers and jewelry. And I'm about to sit down and write all the good deeds of the day. As far as books go, I wanted to try to find some Islamic books to read to Elena that were kind of a little bit more on her level. And I did find this set of prophet stories. However, the only good one out of all of the books is really this one because it talks about a lot. It talks about all of his creations and like it like shows the pictures of the creations, like all the animals and the earth and the stars and the moon and all that stuff. Stuff, so it's easier to like follow but then I started reading like the rest of them and I guess since they don't put you know pictures of the prophets a lot of these photos in here have nothing to do with the words that are being said and so it's just like not interesting so if you guys have any recommendations for children's books let me know but there are a couple more that i have to share with you guys this is such a sweet story it's called the ultimate eid gift a really amazing book to read to your children this ramadan and then this is another book that was gifted to elena that i think is pretty good it's just like abc's and 
It's very like simple, classic. It's a really sweet read. Of course, we've been reading our Stand for Palestine book, but I am gonna be on the hunt for a few more, so I will let you guys know if I find any more. Okay, I had to bring you guys in here as well because speaking of like kid stuff for Ramadan, I got these gorgeous bamboo Ramadan matching pajamas for Elena, Jonah, and myself. Here is the adult version. Is it not so stunning? I really love this pattern. It's got lanterns and little crescent moons and stars all over it. It's so pretty. So it's got the pants, the matching top, and then we have the bamboo zip up sleepers. They are footless, which is nice. You can fold it over as well, which is nice. And then here is the toddler version. So these are from Jasmine and Marigold, which is a small Muslim owned business. She gave me a code, which I'll put down in my description box if you guys are interested. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here on the floor in my closet for a second because for some reason I'm so exhausted after setting up the playroom. I'm so glad that's done. I'm gonna surprise Elena when she gets home. I think she is going to love it. The only thing I'm scared of is that she's gonna want to open the countdown calendar and I'm gonna have to tell her we gotta wait on that. I wanted to talk to you guys about something super important. You guys know every Ramadan I choose a charity or two to support and this Ramadan of course we are helping our brothers and sisters in Palestine. So I've chosen to work with Pious Projects and Human Appeal. With Pious Projects we are going to be helping with life-saving surgeries for the victims of Gaza. You can choose to do one surgery, two surgeries. These are going to be for amputees, people who've lost limbs, people who just need life-saving operations. And then with Human Appeal, we are going to be helping to sponsor orphans of Gaza. So both of those were just very near and dear to my heart, me being a nurse and just knowing how vital these surgeries are and the healthcare. I just was really excited to be able to, you know, give back in that way. And then as a mom, just knowing that we can give back to these babies and children that were affected as well so i will leave both of those links down below and they will be in every single video during the month of ramadan if you guys would like to help support you guys are always so so generous and may allah bless all of you for helping to just do what we can for the people of Gaza and just our Palestinian brothers and sisters who are suffering so, so much right now. May Allah ease their suffering and all the people suffering all over the world. I'm not gonna lie, like, I know that me being a content creator and sharing like all of these fun things for my kids and fashion and just decor and all of this stuff it's not what is truly important about ramadan and honestly this year in me it's it feels meaningless i feel like if i was not a content creator i would not be probably doing any of this stuff this year just because like i know what is important and it's not any of those materialistic things me as a content creator though like i have to create content and i have to like sell things and that's just like literally the nature of my job it's been extremely difficult navigating that and navigating people slandering me and just calling me all these terrible things and just really attacking my character i know that a lot of you guys know who i am as a person and i only answer to god he knows the situation that i'm in and he knows my heart it's such a terrible time and it just sucks that my job is so public. I just have to fake a smile and keep going when there are terrible things happening to our people right now. We just always have to keep them in our hearts and prayers. I always tell you guys this, but if you guys see me doing happy things, trying to like stay positive for my family and my children, we all have to figure out how to navigate this time. And that doesn't mean that I don't care. And that doesn't mean that I'm not thinking about Palestine. Are you ready for your surprise, Elena? Yes! Are you ready? Yes. Let's go see. Okay, ready? Okay, we just took some family Ramadan pictures. I just changed out of my dress, but we have yeah. little Jojo and his little yeah, Haji. Haji Jojo over here. I love this outfit, it's so cute. <laughs> but I just wanted to say Ramadan Mubarak to all of you and all of your families. May Allah yeah. accept all of your fasts, inshallah. Yeah. This Ramadan is 
coming with a heavy heart, obviously. And obviously, I just talked about that just yeah. earlier. And so may Allah but, ease all of the suffering of everyone all over the world. Yeah, he's trying to rip your hijab off. Yeah. <laughs> we love you all so, so much, and we're wishing you all a blessed month ahead, inshallah. <laughs> he's always like, I'm done, let's go. <laughs> all right, we'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Bye.